Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more. Find the volume of sphere whose surface area is given. Radius is not given, surface area is given. And surface area is nothing but 4 pi r square we know. And that is 154 centimeter square. So with that we can easily find the value of r. Okay. We will do 154. So R will come out to be 7 by 2. So once we add the R, we can easily find the volume. So volume of a sphere is nothing but 4 by 3 pi R cube. So we can put the values 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 whole cube. So you solve this, you get 179 2 by 3 centimeter. So you see, this was in centimeter square surface area and the volume is in centimeter. A dome of a building is in the form of hemisphere. From inside, it was whitewashed at some cost, total cost. If the cost of whitewashing per square meter is given, we need to find the inside surface area of the dome and also have to find the volume of the air. This is pretty easy actually. So, total cost is given and cost per square foot is given. So, with that, we can easily find the surface area. Right? So, once we have the surface area, we can easily find radius and then we can find volume. Okay, so the total cost is given, cost per square meter is given, so we can easily find the inside surface area. So inside surface area is what? Total cost by cost per meter square. Total cost is 498.96 rupees. And this is rupees 2 per meter square. So we saw this, you get 249.48 meter square. That is the total inside surface area. Since it is hemisphere, so this will be equal to what? 2 pi r square. For sphere, it is 4 pi r square, this is 2 pi r square. So we'll evaluate this 2 pi r square with this value. So with that we get R as 6.3 meter. So we got the radius. 6.3 meter. Once we got the radius, we can easily find the volume of air. Volume of air for hemisphere is nothing but 2 by 3 pi r cube. Let's put the values here. 2 by 3 into 22 by 7. R is 6.3 cube. Put the values you get 523.9 meter cube and that is the answer. Okay, that is the volume of the air inside the dome. Twenty-seven solid spheres, each of radius r and surface area s, are melted to form a sphere, a big sphere with surface area s. That's this is surface area s, and radius is r. They are melted to form a surface area s dash, and radius is r dash. Right? We have to find the radius r dash of the new sphere. So in this case, if you see what will be constant, volume, right? So 27 times if this volume, if this volume is v dash and if this volume is v for each cube, 27 times volume of small cube is nothing but volume of the bigger sphere. 27 times volume of small sphere or 27 small spheres is equal to one big sphere. Right? The volume is constant. This is the key concept here. Okay, so what is the volume of the smaller sphere? 27 into what is V? V is 4 by 3 pi r cube. What did V dash? 4 by 3 pi r dash cube. This gets cancelled. So what you get is r dash is nothing but cube root of 27 r to the power 3. That is nothing but 3R. So we got a relationship between R dash and R. That is done. Find the ratio of two surface area. So we can easily find S by S dash is nothing but what is S? 4 pi R square. What is S dash? 4 pi R dash square. This gets cancelled. That is nothing but R square by R dash square. So R square by R dash is nothing but 3R. Square. 
that is nothing but 1 by 9. So the ratio of surface area is also 1 by 9, pretty easy to work. So here the main concept is that 27 uh, solid solid iron spheres were melted to form a big sphere. Thus the 27 times the volume of small sphere will be equal to the volume of bigger sphere. Let's see the last question. A capsule of medicine is made in the shape of sphere. The diameter is 3.5 millimeter. That is the radius is 3.5 by 2 millimeter. How much medicine is needed to fill this capsule? Pretty easy. There is nothing but the volume of the capsule that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Right? There is nothing but 4 by 3 into 22 by 7. R is 3.5 by 2 whole cube. You solve this, you get 22.46 meter millimeter cube. So that is the volume of liquid that is required to fill this capsule. Okay. Let's do a quick recap. We have seen that the surface area of cuboid is 2 into L into B, B into H plus H into L. We have seen the surface area of a cube is 6 A square where A is the side of the cube. So in this case we have seen that this was length, this was breadth, this was height, this was a cuboid and this is a cube all sides of length A. We have seen that the curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi RH, this is the radius and this is height. So we have seen that the total surface area of a cylinder was 2 pi RH plus 2 pi R square. That comes out to be 2 pi R into R plus H because we have to calculate or take into consideration these two base as well. We have seen that the surface area of a cone is pi R L where this is R, L is the slant height and this is H. We have seen that total surface area of a right circle of cone is pi r l plus pi r square. This is pi r square. We have also seen that the sphere area of uh, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square, where r is the radius. We have seen that the curved surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square, and we also have a concept of total surface area of hemisphere where we also include this base area of pi r square. So 2 pi r square plus pi r square become 3 pi r square. So we have seen that the volume of cuboid is length into breadth to height. So we have seen that the area of volume of cube is a cube. Volume of cylinder became pi r square h. Volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. And volume of sphere was 4 by 3 pi r cube, volume of the sphere. Volume of hemisphere was 2 by 3 pi r cube. For this, the volume came out to be 2 by 3 pi r cube. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.